Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Asun Kit Valhalla video. So, in this episode we are gonna take a look how and where you can get all armor sets that you can use in Forgotten Saga aka the free Niflheim DLC. So first you need to get here. In the end screen there will be guides how you can get into the Niflheim in the first place. But once you are in here, you will start with the gear. No, no, not this gear. But the gear on the left top corner. So this gear, all fire armor. So the base perks for this gear increase ability damage by 5 for each adrenaline slot filled. Also, temporary increase attack by 10 after using an ability. This and other armor sets, they are getting more perks the more you upgrade. And if you need to take a better look of the other perks of these armors, pause the video. After you have done that, continue. But we are moving right now, so you will get the first gear from the first boss. So, the Raven's Flight armor set. The first boss, it might be the Ice Wolf, Lava Wolf, or even this boar. Either way, after winning this first time, the armor set, it is yours. But how about if we are gonna take a look of the stats of that Raven set. So, increase range damage by 5 to 25 on weak spot hit or headshot. The other perk it is that we are gonna have more arrows. The Raven Flight armor set it is for the hunters out there. Again post the video if you need to read every single perk that you are gonna get. The white ones are those that you have already activated and on the grey those that still need to be upgraded in order to get that perk. Third armor set that you are gonna get, it is from the Duckerland, from the second boss, from the second area, from the second area. After beating the second boss, you are getting Einherjar Valor Armor. And let's take a look of the perks. And again, pause the video for all of the perks if you need to. But basic perks for this armor set, increase melee damage by 5 to 25 on hits. Also healing effects are... 25% increased, so not bad, not bad. After the first upgrade, you can stomp your enemies, so that is pretty useful. Let's move on to the fourth armor set that is gonna be found around in middle range of the third area. In here, you are gonna meet Bordir. After this little conversation with him, you are gonna be sent to hunt a dark druid, and from that druid, you are gonna get the armor set. So let's take a look. When they just fall apart. I mean no offense, but it does seem a pointless task. Such is life among the dead. The corruption what eats at these bridges is fed by the same hands who demand their maintenance. And whose hands are those? The hands of Nidhark. A twisted collection of druids, mystics and priests who serve the ruler of these pestilent islands. Nidhark. I know that name. A creature whose depravity is legendary. He reigns here? Aye. Drinking the sap of Idris's roots while his hands gather the living and dead for him to feast upon. And the ones responsible for the rot that eats at these bridges. If I eliminate them, it would ease my passage through here. Nidhag is the true root of the rot, but cutting away his hands would slow its spread. You could start with my owner. He's a dark druid who patrols this area, dressed to inspire terror and loathing. The dark druid may be hard to spot in the mist, but his attire is unmistakable.
After battling and confirming the kill, you are gonna be rewarded by the Drogo's Doll outfit. So, without further talking, let's take a look of the perks. This armor is grinding you plus 25% more coins and memories, but healing effects are reduced by 50%, and this gear is actually needed for the trophy you need to beat hell using this armor set. But other than that, I really like that armor set, one of my favorites. Alright, we are almost done, three more armor sets, and the next armor set you are gonna get by beating the dragon, the dead speaker's outfit, and let's take a look of the perks, shall we? So the perks for this armor set, temporarily increase critical chance by 10 on flanking attacks, also increase critical damage by 20. This gear set is for the assassins there, this one you can actually use the chain assassination and that is gonna be pretty useful, especially if you are just starting and you are not even halfway there, I mean this gear set is it is totally worth upgrading. Alright, this armor set might be actually a little bit harder to find, but you can get this pretty early on from the second area, as you can see, there is a lava fountain from the skull, and this is your Jotun trick. So you need to solve the puzzle, so let's solve the puzzle and let's see what is our reward for this one. Completing this puzzle, well, quote unquote puzzle, the reward for this one, it is gonna be the Dwarven Defender outfit. And let's take a look, like we have done so far, of the perks of this armor set. So, Dwarven Defender, the base perks for this one, increase damage against elites and bosses by 20%, also increase stun by 10%, and all upgradable perks are here so post the video again if you need if you don't that's totally up to you at this point i really would appreciate a like that would really help me to get these videos out to more people in here in youtube so hit the like before moving on to the next one quick note you cannot use the gear sets right away you actually have to die before you can use them again or quit the run also, the health Nargal set will be available after beating the final boss in the Forgotten Saga DLC. You will be going back then, as many times as it takes. The perks for this one increase fire damage by 10 for every Draugr you summoned recently. Max stacks 5 times, increase fire damage resistance by 20. And this set looks awesome. I'm still wondering where is the helmet in the real world from Reda. So hopefully soon. But for now, I really want to thank my channel members, aka the Elite Wolf Pack. You guys are awesome. If you want to become part of the Elite Wolf Pack, there's a join button below this video. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.